The Planet Gold project, as part of CI Guyana's Responsible Mining Initiative, started its mission in 2018 to demonstrate the realities of mercury-free gold mining in Guyana. The project was implemented through a unique partnership of government agencies, mining organizations, indigenous stakeholders, and the private sector. The project considered Guyana's medium and small-scale gold production chain and explored practical opportunities to improve gold recovery and reduce negative impacts along the chain. Uh, the Planet Gold project itself aims on uh, reducing towards elimination the use of mercury within the artisanal small and medium scale gold mining sectors. And we have partners such as the Ministry of Natural Resources, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, uh, the Women Miners, or Guyana Women Miners Organization, the Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association, and the National Tusha House Council, uh, who are part of the, the project partners, or who are some of the project partners. Uh, we work with miners directly on the ground, and we're looking to find practical solutions to the elimination of mercury in Guyana's gold mining sector. I feel it difficult to work without mercury, because I never see it happen, and I would interest in the Lord. And if it could, well, we would take a chance. Be it demonstrating how to search for gold without unnecessarily clearing forest, or how a small piece of equipment can capture more fine gold than mercury can, the Planet Gold Guyana project established that mercury-free mining is not only possible, but it can increase gold recovery to over 90%, more than twice the 40% that is typical in the sector. Setting up a mercury-free mine was at the core of the project's real-world approach, where solutions had to be practical and suitable. As expected, the demonstration sites provided countless lessons in what works, what doesn't, and what opportunities exist for the expansion of mercury-free mining in Guyana. The production of mercury-free gold at our Region 8 site began with prospecting activities at an established mining area close to Madia. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a miner from Madia. I'm a medium scale miner, and this is my operation that I operate behind me here that you see. Currently, we're in Madia and we're now prepping for our drilling program. Right now, our sample tech, Clint, is writing up our sample bags. So each sample would have a unique number which corresponds to a tag. After drilling, each sample goes into a sample bag with the tag, zip tied, and gets shipped off to the lab. The lab determined the grade of gold in the ore and the ore type, which informed equipment selection and their sequence to create a circuit that would increase recovery. Beyond just testing new equipment, we demonstrated how low-cost adjustments to common mining equipment can immediately improve recovery without the use of mercury. The sluice box, for instance, was built in a Z-shape, with the specific angles needed to increase the capture of gold on the mats. Just this simple adjustment increases recovery rates. The discharge from the sluice box was further processed through centrifuge concentrators. Overall, the challenge of capturing the gold that is lost to tailings in most small operations was addressed. So the gold catcher is a version of a concentrator and the material that is captured here are mostly fines because most of the coarse material is already captured into the sluice box. So in the gold catcher, we have riffles that trap the gold inside and then after the process has been running for about an hour, two hours, we stop it and we clean it out. So there is a drain valve in the gold catcher that allows you to drain the concentrate into a bucket and then refine it on the gold cube or the shaking table. If they could have invented the gold cube in a larger, size for me it would be a very effective tool in recovering gold because 
it's something similar to a sluice box but it's like a mini version of it and it, it is very very efficient in terms of capturing the goal it's you got a better recovery with the planet goal equipment than our old style our old style you still show away some of your some of the goal still passes but with planet goal on it doesn't pass anything you catch you capture 99 percent of the goal we showed that by using these pieces of equipment correctly Guyana's gold miners can achieve remarkably higher recovery rates. The achievement of high levels of recovery provides a solution to one of Guyana's ongoing challenges to forest restoration. The amounts of gold typically in tailings lead to the constant reworking of areas which prevents natural regrowth of forests. With little or no gold left in the tailings, miners would have no interest in reworking an old mine site. Miners from across the mining districts were invited to participate in the demonstrations conducted at the two sites. The project also launched a virtual 360-degree tour of the Region 8 Mercury-Free demonstration site that included interviews and videos of the equipment in action. For the GGMC, it was a great opportunity to partner with CIA and the other agencies because it offered us a very good platform to demonstrate and showcase various technologies that we have been demonstrating for years before. But because this platform was not totally state initiative, um, it helped for it to be a bit more, um, a little bit more palatable to miners. And I think it was a great opportunity for the mining sector to see all of these technologies not just being spoken of or in a slight presentation, but actually working right in front of their eyes. And they can see not only the equipment working or the technology at work, but you see the results of the technology being used. And again, with no mercury at all. The production of mercury-free, responsibly mined gold opens up opportunities beyond the sector, with growing interest among jewelers for a line of responsibly mined Guyanese gold. The project worked to change behaviors in the mining sector and shift opinions on reducing mercury. Through awareness raising and on-the-ground activities, the Planet Gold Guyana project has reached miners in several regions across the country to improve their knowledge on the dangers of mercury and the benefits to changing to mercury-free gold processing. Taking a holistic approach, we engaged indigenous groups, women, students, and community leaders in the movement toward responsible mining in Guyana. <laughs>